Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and many of you had been requesting me to do some examples for people who have had great success in foreign lands and here is one such chart. So this is a very powerful chart which I, uh, I mean I know this person uh, personally and he has obtained great success in all of his spiritual endeavors along with his education for masters in abroad and he's a very nice person fantastic very humble very spiritual very intelligent all the good qualities are there in this person so let us see uh, what makes this person the way he is all right and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please go to my website you will find the link in the description of the video below all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and he will help you understand charts like this what a beautiful chart this is all right so whenever we see success in foreign lands we have to uh, take into consideration uh, certain factors okay so first of all before going to foreign lands we have to ensure that the overall chart is very strong that is for any anything you want in life okay foreign coming to foreign or do, going to foreign for education purposes is 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 a secondary matter but the primary thing is that the chart has to be very strong so now you see there are multiple uh, factors which makes this chart very strong first you see the lord of the ascendant which is moon taking into consideration this is a cancer lagna. moon is placed in the sign of exaltation and the lagna lord itself is in the 11th house of gains profits networks associations and moon is also one of the uh, most important planets as we know chandra then we see sun so if you see here sun is extremely strong it is in digbala and in exaltation my god this is insane this is too powerful actually and as if this was less you see this exalted planet in the lagna and that too it is the lord of the ninth house this is this is wow this is too good so you see jupiter is in exaltation here and then saturn is also in directional strength here and it is also in own sign so jupiter and saturn are both forming the respective mahapurush yogas known as hansa mahapurush yoga and shasha mahapurush yoga so jupiter is extremely strong saturn is extremely strong surya is also very 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 strong and mercury is also considered to be very strong in the 10th house in general okay so we saw that the overall kendras are very good the lord of the ascendant is exalted it is in the 11th house then moon itself is in exaltation in the 11th house and sun is also very strong it's in digbala and it's in exaltation so this makes the chart very strong overall but let's see what's giving him success in foreign lands so before going to foreign let us see about his monetary uh, encounters okay about his finances so finances the houses of finances are 2 6 10 and 11 so whenever these houses get linked to each other or the lagna then there is tremendous financial success in the life of a person okay and if the fifth lord and the ninth lord also joins in this then uh, the person gets wealth effortlessly effortlessly does not mean without any efforts but without uh, much hard work okay so here you see the lord of the second house which is sun is in exaltation here in digbala in the 10th house this is a very 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 strong position okay so there's a lot of wealth which will come from his career now you see the ruler of the sixth house it is uh, placed in exaltation in the lagna itself so again as i said 2 6 10 and 11 connection with each other or the lagna okay so here the second second lord is in 10th and the sixth lord is in the lagna itself it is in exaltation then as i said and then 
as I said, 11th house also. So the Lagna Lord is in the 11th house. Okay. And then, as I said, for combinations, for, uh, combinations of Raj Yoga, you can also see that the 9th Lord, which is Jupiter, is in the Lagna in exaltation and it is in mutual aspect with the 7th Lord because the 7th Lord here is Saturn. So this is a very, very, very powerful Raj Yoga which is occurring in this chart. The ninth lord and seventh lord in mutual uh, in mutual aspect. This is very powerful, very strong. Okay, so that is showing tremendous level of financial success. But why has the success been in foreign lands? Why not in a place? Uh, why not in his own country? Okay, so there are multiple factors which uh, denote this. So one of the factors is his fourth lord, which is Venus is in the 12th house okay so he will have property but going away which is in foreign lands then uh, we also see that his uh, 10th lord which is mars and 11th lord which is venus which are the two most important houses for money the 10th house and the 11th house their rulers are conjunct but it they are sitting in the 12th house and there is also a uh, parivartan between the 10th house and the 12th house. Do you see this? The 10th lord is Mars. It is sitting in the sign of Mercury and Mercury is the 12th lord is sitting in the sign of Mars. So it's like saying the moment he goes abroad, the this combination gets activated. Okay. And then there are multiple other things. For example, uh, if you see Mars, Mars is also the 5th lord. And in fact, it is a yoga karaka for Cancer and Leo Lagna as we know because it rules the Kendra and the Trikon simultaneously. Mars is ruling the 5th house and the 10th house. So 5th house is the house of Purva Punya and uh, past life good deeds. So here Mars is sitting in the 12th house. That is showing that the moment he goes abroad, uh, the his fortune will rise. And... In many cases, we also see that the third house also has to have link because 3, 9 and 12 are houses of travel. Okay, So generally, they say that the 12th house is important for foreign travels. But in my experience, I have seen the 9th house and 3rd house also giving foreign travels. Okay, So if you see here, the 9th lord itself is in the Lagna. Then the 3rd lord is in the 10th house. Okay, And the 3rd lord is also the 12th lord. So it's like... Uh, it's like saying the third lord is in the 10th house and the 12th lord is also in the 10th house so whenever it comes to something related to career always travel is seen the third house is seen and the 12th house is seen so and the ninth lord uh, which shows long distance travels it's in the it is placed in the lagna and it is exalted so that shows that uh, he will benefit a lot from these long distance travels okay and there are many other things we can also see from this chart that the 8th Lord is aspecting the Lagna because 8th Lord is Saturn. It is placed here and it is aspecting the Lagna. So that can also show that uh, there can be some challenges when the person stays in his or her own country. That can happen at times. And uh, because of that, the person is recommended that he goes outside abroad and the person uh travels and does higher education there and for higher education we have to see many other parameters for example uh, the first thing we see is uh, wh what is the strength of the ninth house because that in one way shows higher education although fifth house also shows higher education so the ninth lord is placed in exaltation that is extremely strong and then there are two planets which are karakas for education we all know who are they right that is Jupiter and that is Mercury. So Jupiter here is in Digbala in directional strength. So this is an insane chart actually. There are three planets which are in Digbal. Can you imagine the power of this chart? This is insane actually. And then Mercury is also present in the 10th house and any planet in the 10th house is considered to be extremely strong. Especially when it is placed with an exalted sun. Okay. So, because of this, this person has had immense success in foreign lands and now the person is uh, working in a very big company and the person is extremely spiritual. You can see the ninth lord is in the Lagna and Jupiter 
is the natural karaka for spirituality. It is also in exaltation. Yes, it's in Dikbal also. So, this person is a very loyal, faithful uh, disciple of his guru. And uh, the person always keeps doing spiritual activities. And the person also does a lot of austerities because sixth house shows austerities and the sixth lord is in the lagna. Okay. And now the person is uh, about to get married and because the seventh lord is Saturn, it is placed in own sign that shows that and because Saturn is in Nikbala, so this is extremely powerful. So that shows that he will have a uh, happy and long lasting uh, marriage, although because Saturn is a natural malefic, there can be some delays or uh, the person who he ends up marrying can be from a family background which has uh, lesser status than his and which is a bit obvious also because uh, his family status is very high you see an exalted planet in the lagna this is this is showing very 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 high family status actually and um, because of that uh, it, it can become difficult for him sometimes to find a girl also who, whose parents are also having that level of stat status in his in his place because uh, he doesn't come from a very uh, big city he comes from a, a big town actually okay so there not many families are there who, who are uh, at par with his family status so that those those issues can be there but uh, apart from that uh, everything looks to be fine and uh, that is what i can say extremely powerful chart very spiritual person and a very good friend of mine and he is a wonderful person, amazing being and I hope I meet him very soon in the near future. Alright, so that is what I wanted to say in this video. Strong Ascendant Lord, Strong Sun, Strong Moon. See, both the luminaries are exalted. Insane this is. And uh, this person uh, has the third and for finances as I said, the second, tenth, eleventh. And the sixth has to have connection with each other or with the lagna. And we see the 10th and 11th are conjunct in the 12th house of foreign lands. And the third lord and the 12th lord Mercury is also in the 10th house. And the 10th lord and 12th lord are in Parivartan. Okay. So and Jupiter Mercury, the two natural significators of education placed very well. And that is it. So there you go. Very nice chart. I hope... I keep meeting people of this category more and more so that I can enrich my spiritual life day by day. Okay, so until next time, wish you good luck. Bye bye. And yes, if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is inquisitive to know about foreign lands, foreign travels. Will you get success or not? Of course, uh, you, you may have this Parivartan of the 10th and 12th and other things, but that doesn't mean uh, you will... You will necessarily uh, always do good like this person did because this the that's the secondary thing. The primary thing is the chart is very strong because the ruler of the ascendant and sun moon are very strong and the lagna has very good influences. Okay, so because of that, wherever the person goes, the person will obtain success. Foreign is just another uh, is just another way to get his name and fame okay and there are other combinations also if you check from the Arudha Lagna his Arudha Lagna is in the sign of Pisces and the Lagna Lord is in the fifth house exalted and aspecting back the Arudha Lagna this is very powerful and then Saturn is in the 11th house from the Arudha Lagna very powerful and second house has so many planets you see this exalted Sun Mercury is there Moon is in the third, Venus, Mars, Ketu is in the fourth. Very, very strong chart. And if you see the Dusthanas from the Arudha Lagna, so the, if you take Pisces as the Arudha Lagna, you will see Libra and Leo are the Dusthanas, and Aquarius is also a, uh, a Dusthana, yes, because they are placed 6, 8, and 12, and these, these houses are empty here. So externally from the Lagna, you can say, oh, his 6th house, 8th house, 12th house has so many planets that can cause disaster in his life. But you see, the overall chart is very strong. And from the Arudha Lagna, also the chart looks to be extremely strong. Okay. 
so there you go if you are new then please subscribe and if you like this video then please click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know if they will have success in foreign lands or not okay so until next time if you want a consultation please go to my website okay bye bye see you